socialists! My name is Gabby Brown and I'm an apparel technical designer. I am here to help out with the fitting series for the blog. Um, I am super, super excited to be here. We are going to talk about things like garment balance, garment proportion, and identifying fit issues. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Um, a technical designer is a person who liaises between a fashion designer and a garment factory to produce um, ready-to-wear apparel. Uh, so what we would do is um, put together a tech pack of information about the garment that we're working on. Let's, for our purposes today, say that it is a woven button-up shirt. So we'll put in a drawing of that, we'll talk about how many buttons we need, what kind of fabric it is, what kind of construction stuff uh, we need it to do or have, um, then my job would be to put in a series of numbers that talks that talks to the initial size range um, and then all of the grading for all the sizes that go out from that. Um, so we would send that to uh, the garment factory. They would send us back in return a fit sample um, and then we fit as many iterations of that, making changes, adjustments until we get to the perfect possible fit the perfect possible construction uh, for that style in our price point, um, and at which point we would approve it to cut. So some of that is mind-numbingly tedious, such as um, grading for X amount of sizes. Oh, some of it is really, really fun, and that's fitting. Fitting is like my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do. So when you fit, you go into a room with your designer, your product development team, any other interested parties, and your fit model. Your fit model is supposed to represent your ideal brand customer. So again, for our purposes, say this brand sells to uh, career women or <clears throat> career people who then you know, need a lot of where to work stuff. And maybe they work in places like a bank where you can't really dress down. Um, so this fit model, we would choose somebody who's probably mid to late 40s, we want them to be kind of the middle version of our customer, right? Like the idealized version of who we want to fit on. Um, so we take the garment, throw it on the fit model. Uh, she would then tell us, you know, any issues that she has with the garment. Uh, the sleeve lift, she can't move her arm. Um, maybe the back collar is cutting at the back neck. Maybe the button placement is off and she's getting some gapping at her front bust. Um, so those were, would all be things that we would talk about in the fitting and figure out how to fix. Um, and then we would also talk about things like pocket placements and sizing, um, the collar shape, uh, any other items that we could think of that would affect the saleability of the garment um, and how to really get the most perfect fit that we possibly can. Um, so when you're doing that, you're really working with all these people to figure out what the brand ID is, is the garment fitting into what your designer's vision is, um, and how do you, as a tech designer, make that happen. Um, so that is me. <laughs> um, I want to help you guys learn how to fit like that. There's a ton of knowledge in this community about stuff like how to do a full bust adjustment, uh, right? But there's not a whole lot of stuff about when you need to do a full bust adjustment. So we're going to talk about that and really learn how to identify fit issues on real people's bodies. Um, so we're going to talk about things like how to measure yourself, how to measure patterns, how to measure garments. The more familiar you are with your own body, the better you'll be able to make your makes fit. Um, we're going to talk about grading. For example, um, say you are a petite woman who's five foot tall um, and always has to make adjustments to the inseam of a pant, but you don't really have a number in mind of like what that looks like. The leg opening always turns out kind of funky. Um, so we're going to talk about stuff like that and how to use those numbers to problem solve before you even cut into any fabric, muslin or otherwise. Um, we're going to do real fittings on real people with real issues so you can see what, you know, when people say things like the drag line is pointing to the problem, what does that even mean, right? Like, <laughs> it's hard to figure that stuff out, especially in a diagram. Diagrams can be helpful, but unless you've seen it actually in real life before, it's very hard to make those kind of connections. So we're going to look at all that stuff um, and get you guys familiar with seeing what fit issues look like on a body um, and what to do to fix them. Um, 
So I am like super, super psyched to be doing this. I think that this community is really, really amazing because everybody is self-taught and teaching each other, which is so cool. Um, we grew up in like a really weird generation, right? Like we went to the mall all the time. We went shopping all the time. Um, but we didn't really learn to sew from our elders the same way that we used to in previous generations. Um, I had a home ec class. I learned how to make a tote bag. It had one pocket on it. I thought I was the bomb. I'm also dating myself. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, I think a lot of people in this community are the same, right? Like we didn't learn how to sew from our parents or whoever. Uh, so we are teaching ourselves how to do this. We can teach ourselves how to sew. We can read books about, you know, how to learn how to fit like Palmer Pletch or whatever. But until you really see that stuff on body and have experience doing it, it's very hard to relate it to your own projects. So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah. I'm super, super psyched. If you guys have any comments, any anything that you want to see, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I want to make this as transparent as possible. I think in Ready to Wear especially, there is zero transparency. And Ready to Wear itself doesn't work for a whole lot of people. It's um, pretty exclusionary, to be honest. And I think that um, there's no reason for that. Like, clothes should just fit as well as they possibly can, right? So we're gonna learn how to make our own clothes fit as well as we possibly can. Um, I, again, I you just, I can't tell you how happy I am to be doing this. Um, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, you can. It's at Lady Grift and check out what I'm up to. Thanks so much.